All right, the lesson we're doing in Ray's Arithmetic today is lesson number 11. Now, I want to point out something about the way I have the lesson number written here. You see this symbol right here? See how it says XI? That's actually the symbol for 11. And this is the old Roman numeral system, which is good to know and good to learn, because you're going to see that all through the book. If you notice, the lesson numbers in our books are all written as letters, and that's the Roman numeral system. So it is a good idea to learn that. So I just want to point out that uh, that's what that means, that XI really means 11. So you just learn how to crack the code on Roman numerals. Well, let's go on to lesson 11. And what we're going to do here is... I'm going to read through these. These are all addition problems that we've seen. We're just going to get some reinforcement here and learn them a little better. Um, let me just do this. To make better space, better use of the space on our board, let me just draw a line down the middle here. And what I'll do is I'll read these out loud, then I'll write them one by one on the board so you see how they look. Okay, then we'll work out some problems after that. So the first one is 1 and 1 are 2. So 1 and 1 are 2. Okay, that's easy enough. How about 2 and 1 are 3? Let me write that down. 2 and 1 are 3. And also 1 and 2 are 3. Okay, next is 3 and 1 are 4. 3 and 1 are 4. And also, 1 and 3 are 4. 1 and 3 are 4. Okay, next is 4 and 1 are 5. 4 and 1 are 5. All right, continuing on the right side of our board, 1 and 4 are 5. So 1 and 4 are 5. Okay, next, 5 and 1 are six. Five and one are six. All right, next, one and five are six. One and five are six. Six and one are seven. Six and one are seven. One and six are seven. One and six are seven. 7 and 1 are 8. 7 and 1 are 8. All right, let me just clear the board out to get the rest of these up. How about, you know, let me make my line down the middle again. Let's see, where do we leave off? 7 and 1 are 8. Okay, 1 and 7 are 8. Okay, next is 8 and 1 are 9. 8 and 1 are 9. 1 and 8 are 9. 1 and 8 are 9. How about the next one is 9 and 1 are 10. 9 and 1 are 10. 1 and 9 are 10. 1 and 9. Are ten. Kind of made that one kind of small or tall, didn't I? I chopped them down to size. Okay. Next is ten and one are eleven. Ten and one are eleven. And likewise, one and ten are eleven. See that? Okay. Let's go on to the word problems of the rest of the page. This, these nine word problems, we'll go through these. They're good practice with addition, so let's do them on our board up here. I'm going to read these one by one, and we'll work them out on the board together, okay? So the first one says this. says, Francis had two cents, and his mother gave him one cent more. How many had he then? So Francis has two cents. Let's put that up here. Two cents, and his mother gives him one cent more. So she gives him one cent. So two and one are how many? Two and one are three. Right. So Francis has three cents altogether. So Francis is rich. He's got three cents. Okay, let's go on to the next one. 
number two. It says, John had one raisin, and his sister gave him three raisins more. How many had he then? So picture this raisin. John's got a raisin. That's one. And his sister gives him three raisins more. So that's one and three raisins. How many are one and three? Are four? They are four, yep. One and three are four. All right, good. Let's go to number three. Mary had four pears, and her mother gave her one pear more. How many had she then? So Mary has four pears, and her mother gives her one pear more. How many does she have? So four and one are how many? Five? That is correct. Okay. So Mary's got five pears after that. Number four, let's read that. Jane had one cherry, and her brother gave her five cherries more. How many did she then have? So Jane starts out with one cherry, and her brother comes along and gives her five more. So one and five are how many? One and five are six. Okay. How about number five? George has six cents, and John has one cent. How many cents have both? So George has six cents, right? And John has one cent. So between the two of them, how much do they have? How many cents do they have? Well, six and one are how many? Seven, right. Six and one are seven. Okay, let's do a few more of these. William had one plum, and his cousin gave him seven plums more. How many had he then? So William has one plum, and his cousin gives him seven more. I don't know where his cousin got all these plums, but he's got seven. He gives them to William. So now how many plums does William have, thanks to his generous cousin? William has one, and seven are how many? One and seven are eight. So William has eight plums. Okay, number seven. There were eight oranges on a dish. And one more orange was placed on it. How many were then on the dish? So we, we've got eight oranges on a dish. And one more gets placed on it. So eight and one are how many? Nine. Eight and one are nine. All right, number eight. Henry had one peach, and his mother gave him nine more. Henry must have been a really good boy. Henry has got one peach. His mom comes along and gives him nine more. How many peaches does Henry have now? One and nine are ten. Right. Okay, last problem. How many are ten cents and one cent? How many are ten cents and one cent more? So ten and one are eleven cents. Right. Okay, those weren't so hard, were they? I didn't think so. Well, we'll do some more addition in the next lesson, which will be Lesson 12, and you can practice some more on these lessons, review them as much as you need to, but we'll see you the next time. And in the meanwhile, you can go to raisearithmetic.wordpress.com for information on Raise Arithmetic and homeschool solutions and ideas. And you can also get there the easy way by just typing raisemath.com. We will see you later.